Ooh, what's up guys, of course, welcome to this very fine video from me, this Garander. And today we have a semi-top 10 video, it's more of 10 suggestions than a top 10 of things that I want to see here in the future. Since we don't really know when Generation 7 is gonna hit off, it is, you know, in the midst where we actually... There is no idea to tell where Nintendo and Game Freak will collide it with their heads and of course introduce the newest generation of this Pokemon. But when they do, these are the things I'm looking forward to. And also before going into this, if you have other ideas or ideas that you really want to see in the future, make sure to leave them after you watch this video and even, you know, develop the ideas I have. Because I reached out on Twitter on, you know, for breaching up more than the things I had. And I got a very good feedback from you guys and a special thanks to Fufu, uh, Frank Tro, The Done Deal, Verdelet, Jordan YouTube, Exisa, Tesla Mouse for really really developing these ideas and you know making this the video that it is today. And uh, yeah, with all this my guys, these are the 10 things I want to see in Generation 7. So, the first thing I'm gonna mention, and actually the first three things are things that are just small touches that I think would change the metagame significantly, so we're gonna take them in order. And the first thing is actually Mega Evolving on Entry. What this basically means is that, well, while we talked about it, that it nullifies the nor normal ability that the Pokémon has and actually makes that speed tie that's actually been quite an issue for even today. Um, is not that um, effective anymore. It means that you get the speed stat you should have from the get-go. It also means that you should not be able to activate it or even go as far as before switching in that you get the option to Mega Evolve it on switching. So you don't have to be in a position where you are sitting duck till you Mega Evolve. I truly believe that while a few guys saying that it changed up the strategies that you really, really need to think when you need to Mega Evolve. For me, a Mega Evolution is really it is your strongest bet, it is your trump card in a, in a Pokemon well, battle and, and not having it, you know, as a full potential first turn it's, it really dents you as a player and you really have to work around that still today and definitely in the higher tiers so I would highly, highly recommend that this is something that's gonna go down because I truly believe that it would, it would help a lot for a lot of Pokemons not to say the least, take Charizard X for example it would have been great if you could Mega Vault on entry so it doesn't have the same type of effect on the Stealth Rocks if they are inbound. I think, or rather, I believe that this is something that would spice up things quite well. And I'll even go so far and say that this is something that should be encouraged in the future of the metagame because it just spices things up that much. So that is the first thing. The second suggestion, and this is something that Dundeal is really, really upset about, and yeah, I really thought that it, it made quite a good point. Uh, nerfing knockoff. Uh, I don't want to nerf it as much as uh, Dundeal said, but definitely, you know, today knockoff is quite a strong move with being 130 based straight on, uh, without the stab, of course, which is. It's quite powerful, yeah, 65 itself is not that bad, and once you lose your item, obviously, it's not as strong. But how often have you gotten knocked out because of a knockoff or lose enough HP that a second knockoff will kill you anyway? If they actually lowered it to 50 base, so 100 base would be the stronger attack for um, you holding an item, knockoff would be a double-edged sword because it means that it still is viable for knocking off items, but it's not as strong for taking out Pokemons. So basically, a lowering of the power of knockoff would help out significantly today, even with Mega Evolutions inbound, you know, that they can resist the hits and whatnot. It still isn't... Well, not all players are using Mega Pokemon. They're using your Mega Pokemon as a soaker for knockoff. No thanks. So definitely, really, really want a lowering power on that. And I, I believe that it would spice things up enough to actually change some settings here. And people are using different strategies besides the knockoff because of that. Number 3. A new typing. And um, we've been throwing ideas on what the possi possibility of a typing really is in the future. And uh, there is really only one that really stands out that has, at least as of today, um, a kind of makes sense setting, and that is the sound typing or voice. We haven't really figured out what to call it. But the thing is, 
As you realize when fairy was introduced, there was not a whole lot of fairy Pokemon. Even today, they are standing tall and I think about... I think there aren't even 30 and sound Pokemon could be in the breach of right now around 20 Pokemon and uh, sound basically is, as you guys know, Hyper Voice, Boom Burst are normal type moves nowadays so um, a voice typing would basically be much like um, the fairy type has been a breach on and a standout of the normal typing being more complex. Uh, for us, the um, sound typing would be super effective due to um, its vibration in the I guess in the fabric of space to steel it would be effective to fairy because fairy needs more well weaknesses really and ghost and ghost because of the sound waves actually affecting them to be able to see them so we thought it would be kind of funny to utilize that and of course it's going to be weak to uh, the fabric that voice actually bounces off and that is actually rock ground and ice. We fought hard fabrics besides steel because steel is actually by vibrations going to break apart. Rock do that some and that do ice, ice too but not as effectively so we thought that that could be quite a good idea and also that would spice up the game enough for actually making use of uh, well of that kind of typing and also the thing that really stands out if we're introduced as sound typing is that all the moves actually gonna hit through the substitute which would make well, it would definitely spice up things because then you obviously it's not going to substitute as much if you see your opponent having a Pokemon with a potential sound uh, well typing. And of course, rock and ground will be used more efficiently now. And a combination of steel ground is not as effective as it, as it stands. It, it's hits, hits for neutral, which be making Excadrill and Steel is quite quite shivering on it because of they really don't like taking neutral hits now, do they? So that is that's just a general idea, and like I said, these are the first three things that are they are not that well developed because they are not very likely to happen, and they're just small fixes anyway. But we, now we're gonna get to the real things and the ones that really stands out. So right, this is definitely one of my favorite suggestions, and something that this this is really must happen, and that is actually a physically oriented Zyjok. As you guys know, Psyshock is an ability or an attack that hits from the special side on the defensive side of the opponent. What if we had a fighting base move, pretty much the same functionally, but hit with the physical side on the special defensive oriented side? Uh, this would help so much against great walls we have today. It would help a lot against a Mega Aggron, it would help a lot against guys like Steelix. Uh, and having it fighting base kind of makes sense, much as Psychic being a special oriented one that really represents its typing if anything and um, it would spice up things a lot it definitely would have changed that not Aura Sphere is not only special oriented move that hits on the special shot because this would mean that we actually have a physical oriented move that actually can deal with special defensive lacking Pokemon as it stands right now and that is something I really want to see and it really makes a lot of sense having a move like this so Game Freak step up and if I were talk about what's actually, as you guys know, Hidden Power still lacks fair typing and that is something that needs to be fixed, but that is actually not the one we're going at. We actually was talking more about what if we have a physical oriented Hidden Power. Special Hidden Power has been, well, inbound since Generation 2 and I never decided to fix that and having a physical Hidden Power kind of makes sense too. It will give enough momentum for the physical oriented Pokemon of today to actually have the move that they are lacking that they can't get and much like the weakness of the fairy typing um, having fairy as a hidden power must be introduced must be fixed to say to say the least and uh, having like I said a physical oriented really makes the sweepers of today more prominent well, as you see today they do have usually the moves that make sense but for switching tiers hidden power it can be needed for different things and um, having a Pokemon with a sp unique hidden power for dealing with specific threats, it's it would have been it would make sense. Is what I'm trying to say, and I think you guys feel that too. So physical hidden power, make it happen. And the sixth one is something that um, it really bridges out into two categories, but it means basically the same thing. Uh, a buff to um, rock types and ice types. As you guys know, both rock types and ice types are. The typing today that actually has 
a significant strength offensively but has a lot of weaknesses and basically what I want to see on the rock types is a physical move that resembles you know them more probability moves like power jam you know a 100% accurate move doesn't necessarily have to have any you know secondary effects but it has to be at least you know uh, at least 80 base and 100% accurate and that is something that really would help out Pokemon that um, well today relies on Stone Edge as you guys know Stone Edge is <laughs> really not that good of a move a rock, light, rock Slide is a bit on the weak side and it makes kind of sense considering we got moves like today like Aura Sphere we got was it Flamethrower, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt a lot of these moves being you know the regular accurate moves and we even got some counter of that you know, on the physical side we got Seed Bomb Flare Blitz, you know, moves that really hits hard and um, Rock type really needs this. I hate relying on the moves that aren't that accurate and I think a lot of people actually agree on that. It's, it's really risky and um, it's something that definitely should be fixed. <clears throat> and that also goes for the Rock type itself. To this day, Rock type is not resisted by his own typing rocks, which is... Um, it's kind of strange. I get that rock against rock break asunder, but that goes for a lot of other typings. So they should really resist itself, and um, yeah, that really needs to happen. It's it's still beyond me why it isn't, and you just make that happen. And also, we need for the ice typing not a lot of things that have in common here is something that I've been speaking of, but hail is something that i don't get even to this day why it isn't like a raise for um, the defensive side for the ice type what if when hail sets up you get a 50 percent boost much like sandstorm does to special defense on rock types that the ice type can get a defensive boost of 50 percent that would mean that pokemon like oh i don't know avalog would get 750 base defense or defensive stats to hold on to so that is something that it would make a lot of sense that ice typing get much more chunkier in the hail and it would really help out a lot of pokemons because they're they're obviously their weakest side with a few exceptions honestly and they also go for abilities in the hail why don't we have ability like hail rush or you know so much like sand rush you know boosting the speed of pokemon and a pokemon obviously in a desperate need of this that a pokemon like lazy on would definitely change the game significantly with a hail and you know buffing its speed to uh, what is that with fully invested you can get yeah you have 440 that is something that would have been very very good and the other thing is resisted buffs or um, you know getting hit in the hail uh, i'll see that both water types and steel types should be able to not get buffs or you know hits in hail uh, much like um, um, sandstorm not in ground and steel Water and steel should definitely get a resistance to that buffs. And uh, of course, steel resists both of them. Kind of makes it powerful, but then remember, steel has been nerfed this generation and it needs at least something to kind of cling on to. And uh, this is at least the things we can do. So, this was definitely more brought out. Like I said, it was two suggestions, but it meant the same thing for two typings that today are a bit on the weak side. So, this would be a significant change for the both of them. The next change is something that I truly believe would change the game quite a lot and not make it so tough as it is as of today. And that is having a set turn freeze. What that means is basically as of now we have a 10% fought out and we have specific moves that can of course fought you out. But there is as far as that goes and that is something that we need to kind of change and I truly believe that having set turn freezes much like sleep would help very very much truly so it's quite a simple change but that will change things enough and it wouldn't make freeze that broken that that's that it is today so this next thing is something that i truly believe was going to be introduced this generation before the theory was it revealed and that is something that's gonna nerf dragons all over the place and that is an ice based zelf rock and basically what that would mean is that of course much like stealth rocks ice uh, needles as we choose to call it is something that would nerf so many things rock is as you know, guys know as i mentioned before here much like ice a very very threatening offensive hazard 
and you, of course it's Typhon alone. So this would make a lot of sense because it nerfed the Pokemon that now are dominating, obviously. And uh, they still kind of do. So um, having Pokemon like Gliscor, Garchomp being, you know, on a switching pretty much dented is something I really, really would like to see. Um, so I truly believe that this is something something very, very important and it really needs to happen because the metagame, as the metagame stands now, of course, but at the same time, um, since it is so powerful, we need to have a fixes for that and we actually thought about a few changes for that, but it's gonna come up later in this video. But that is my number four thing, Icicle Stout Rocks. It's such a cool idea, really. Now, our number three spot, we actually, uh, we did juggle a bit about how to really solve this. It basically came down to either a hazard that makes people burn and freeze or having moves that now make a Pokemon freeze on get-go like Will-O-Wisp but we decided that it might be a bit too powerful so if not that then why not introduce more dangerous terrain and what I mean by that is that what about we have um, fire terrain that we call the Molten Field that basically boosts Fire moves with 50% is immune to water moves, while, or all water moves is uh, evaporated, much like a strong sun with the ground on in its primal form. And if you stay for two turns and aren't a fire type, then you will get burned. I truly believe this is something that could be brutalized, and the only Pokemon that really can make you stay in is if you use Fire Spin and this together, that would make it kind of very, very annoying. And of course, we have the Infestation, um, Larvesta, and um, I guess that could work to some fashion, but um, maybe not the strongest idea, but um, yeah, basically a terrain that makes you burn if you stay for two turns, or even three turns like Perry Song, just to really not make it too powerful. But the main, of course, thing is that even if it is a field, it doesn't work like a sunny day, so no chlorophyll is activated, no flash fire is going to be activated, and definitely no solar beam uh, one turn is going to be brutalized. It definitely is a... Defensive mechanism for fire types, and of course, fire types will be nourished in this environment and really, really work well. And that goes for a second that we call absolute freeze or absolute zero field. Same idea. Uh, say for two, three turns, you're going to get frozen. And um, actually, the thing that's going to stand out here is actually that while this field is going on. There is no fire types that can break through. There is no way that you can hit, be hit by fire moves. Basically means that the ice type is getting a pretty good buff here. And basically boosts the move of the fire damage with 50%. These two fields are something I really want to see. And I really want to see electric terrain getting the same kind of um, um, nourishment. And getting like, if you say two free turns, we'll get paralyzed if you are to the electric type. I truly believe this would be so good and so well implemented that actually the terrain will be more used at least that is what i hope for so anyway that was my so before we get to the last mention and the biggest changes if anything we're gonna have an honorable mention here and that is actually two typings that would be kind of cool they don't really make the list you know what i wanted to go at so they're definitely just a filler and that is actually a poison steel type with a levitate that thing would be beyond broken and really cool, having a very few weaknesses. Anything it has Earthquake as a weakness, but besides that, who cares? It, the, the idea alone makes it great. And the last thing, and the one I really personally liked, was a bug ice type. So from the get-go, that sounds really bad, right? But what if this thing got compound ice, would of course boost accuracy of 30%, and had Blizzard and Hurricane? That thing would be so cool. I really love that idea. Like I said, they're sadly not that good enough to be first on the list, but definitely honorable mentions. And uh, I may or may not make a list about unique typings that really need to happen. So thank you for those suggestions and the camp eyes, Blizzard. What a thing. So anyway, let's get into the number one spot. And the biggest change that would change the whole metagame and it's something that really, really, really needs to happen for Generation 7 is other ways of taking away hazards. And we have so many ways that could be implemented and I'm gonna take them in order for how good they are to, well, the worst <laughs> suggestion really. And um, first of all, it's um, one if missed and the potential 
terrain moves actually raise the hazards. This mist make a lot of sense. It is a move today that really is working. Um, nobody uses this, and that goes for haze too. Mo both mist and haze make a lot of sense, much like defog really, to just take away hazards. So that works with both fields. So more um, defogged base moves, and we were also talking about field moves. While well, field are inbound, that they doesn't erase the hazard, but when they are activated, that the field makes it so you aren't affected by. Um, um, sorry about the fee or about the hazards. Same goes for sunny day, sandstorm, hail, and rain. While they are active, you're not affected by the hazards. That was the main idea, at least. And now take for granted that we have an ice-based stealth rocks. It really is the reason why we need something to be able to take away the hazards. So those are, I guess, in theory, the worst idea. Um, the second best idea, and this was suggested by Verlet, was that the heaviest. Pokemons, that is the Pokemon that are affected by low kick and grass not for 120 base, are able to crush hazards. That means that we switch in Aggron, for example, and you have a layer of spikes and a layer of stealth frogs and toxic that when it comes in, it just shatters it. It it rays on impact. Basically making that the heavier Pokemon is just too heavy for the hazards to really work and break them asunder. And it makes a lot of sense, it really does. Uh, so having this actually heavy hitters it kind of makes sense because that also means that you need to sign a team with grass nut or low kick to actually deal with these pokemon and of course pokemon like snorlax would be just about enough to deal with um, a lot of hazards and being able to recover and whatnot so if the heavier pokemon would be well able to do so that would help immensely but this top suggestion and this is something that I think it makes a lot of sense, and it's kind of weird that it hasn't happened really. And that is, if what if the same typing took away their own hazards? Um, what I mean by that is, take for example, toxic, toxic spikes. When a poison Pokemon comes in and lands, it absorbs the poison, and uh, there is no spikes inbound. What if the ground type, for example, could uh, erase the spikes, which is the ground based, and what if the rock type could erase the stealth rocks? makes a lot of sense right and uh, what if we take a step further and say that we have these ice based stealth rocks uh, that would mean that an ice pokemon could absorb that which means that ice pokemon would now be very important if you was to actually carry a dragon pokemon with you to help it out really and um, it kind of makes sense it's it's a better way of getting rid of the hazards in a in a meta game that now are based on a rapid spinner defogger and there are two moves and we have, what is that, I think I read up to 1,800 moves. That is not even, it, that's 0.002% of the moves being able to take away hazards. So we have more moves that are hazard based than are able to get rid of hazards. So having um, entry Pokemon taking them away, just, it would make so much sense. It really does, and really the absorption function of it, just, it, it should really work. And look at the Pokemon that are now today. Rock eyes like Aurora's would make a lot of sense to get rid of both hazards and take ground and gem. Ground and rock. A, ha a Pokemon typing that everybody hates besides Rhyperior. And um, it is now able to get rid of rocks and uh, spikes. So it would just get the buff it needed. And I truly believe this is something that it makes, like I said, a lot of sense. Why hasn't this happened? It basically means that. Hazard aren't that powerful anymore that you really need to think about you know which typing aren't in bound of this team which hazard kit I use it makes the switchings you know a lot of more prominent and as a direct result of that it really steps up your game and I truly believe this is a change that is much needed for the metagaming Pokemon. So yeah top choice are different way of taking away hazards. So yeah guys, wow, I think we turned to 25 minutes of material here, and this took me a while to make, um, you know, making a script and whatnot, it really, really takes some time, and of course, I really want the graphics to work, but sadly we have the very, very simple suggestion that is just text and my beautiful voice, but I hope that worked for you anyway, and I hope it was interesting for you guys, it was for me writing this, because this is, like I said, it makes sense. A lot of these changes would step up the game, really, and um, I hope I can make a list like this in the future, and maybe try to uh, make it a bit shorter. If you stayed all these 25 minutes, I mean, major props. Um, I've listened to this, and um, yeah, 
<laughs> it took me four hours to make this. It's, it, it's awesome how, how how long things like this really take. And of course, our scripted part right now is uh, basically me just recovering from myself. Um, so anyway guys, I really want to thank you for watching, of course, and leave a like if you like this, of course, and if you're new to this channel, check out my other videos about these, I do make top 10 new videos every day, check them out, um, I really love making these videos, and as always guys, as you know, the sky is the freaking limit guys, have a good day, and take care, alright, bye.